Yes, the obligatory cup of coffee. It seems to be my thing where I turn on the mic or turn on the camera and I grab a cup of coffee. And frankly, I'm okay with that. Welcome to Vic Vectors and Pixels. Vectors? Hmm. Welcome to Vectors and Pixels, episode 51, Workhorse Thursday. Today we're going to be working on the letter K for the book of ABCs of Adventure. And I have no idea what I really want to do with this, so this is going to be a bit of exploring. Uh, typically on Thursdays, it's Workhorse Thursday, where I work on a project that's very specific. In this case, it's going to be the ABCs of Adventure. On Tuesdays, I have another stream that I do at this time that's called What the Art? where I just kind of riff and do whatever the heck I want. Uh, let's see, let's, uh, let me open up something here real quick. And I'll flip over to the live action. Let's see, it's open. And I think I did that as a character piece. I try to stay organized and I find I still lose files because I can't figure out where stuff is. I thought that was called Alien uh, let's try one more place. Let's see if I can open as a recent agility, agility working. Yeah, there it is, Alien 2. And let me come over here to live action. And this is the guy that I worked on last Tuesday. This is uh, a piece that I had no idea what I was going to do. I was mis missing, mashing, or mismashing. Um, two different sketches I had laying around. One was of a character from a, a book I did, very similar. And another was of a ghost that had the same kind of headpiece. And I just kind of liked how happy the ghost was. So we did this piece here. This is how it ended up. I don't know if I'm going to take it further. I mean, I could change the microphone out for a sword. He could become an adventure monster. Um, he can be anything at this point, maybe. We'll do something with him. Maybe he'll just be a keychain. Maybe he'll just be a sketch that gets relegated to the hard drive somewhere. I don't know. But that's where we left off on him on Thursday. We may readdress him. We may not. Uh, we shall see. But for now, we are here to work on the ABCs of Adventure. I'm going to go ahead and close him. And this is kind of what I've got sketched. Now, the original sketch, let's, let's see. That layer okay that's that layer so I've got a couple of things going on here let's insert a layer and I'm going to import a piece to st uh, no I don't want to do it to the library I want to go file import to stage which will put it here and of course this is my desktop which is just full of all kinds of stupid stuff let's go in here work folder and Stuff, stuff, ABCs, sketches. Okay, it's gonna be huge. So the original idea, which is why I'm bringing this in, I just kind of want to give myself a chance to digest this because I'm not wholly happy with everything that's going on in this piece. But originally something along this line and then we take the text which is not correct either and put it here and so this was kind of the idea I had for this page I'm not 100% a sold on it. One, he's backwards. The, the, the hero in this is backwards and shouldn't look like this, but it illustrates a little bit better what happened in the previous page, which was Jay. He just kind of disappeared. So we have him like this, but then I started playing around 
You like this new point of view better where I'm thinking the goblins will be here and we'll just kind of see the guy's hand here, maybe the torch over here. Yeah, I can just turn them. It's easy enough. It's the computer. Uh, I love the computer. But I th let's bring up Jay. So let's go file. Let's open the flash. Let's go to, and by the way, good morning, Lori. <laughs> I miss and love you. I hope everything's doing well out there in the world. Uh, ABCs. And let's go, let's bring up I. File. Open. Do -do 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 -do. Open. And J. here for continuity purposes. So we have eyes for initiative, which sadly our hero was slow to make. J is for Jinx, showing our hero's sorrowful cursed fate. Then K is for Knavish, a goblin's ghastly keen trait. And I think they're going to be making fun of him. Here is what needs to be going on here. We're going to have at least two of the goblins, you know, just doing goblin things. One of them's going to be like, whoa, pointing, being very, whoa, whoa, kind of thing. And we can do that in this view. And I agree, I like this view better. But we wouldn't start with our character. We might have a hand here. And then we can cut to this where he's swinging his longsword, because L is for longsword. And, but at this point, the goblins are running away. Will it uh, too close to previous cave scenes in H? I will say good morning. Will it too close to previous cave scenes in H? Well, let's bring up H, because we can do that. Let's open up. <laughs> By the way, for those of you who are just watching this after the fact or just coming in, Lori is my co-writer in this book, and she's been helping me quite a bit, keeping it consistent and helping me with verbiage and just generally making sure this is going to be solid. We're also co-writing another project that's much larger. Uh, she's definitely doing the heavy lifting on that one, though. But this is a taste. If I can get this book out into the market, then the other book will be at least have a path. <laughs> Sorry, I can't type. Was afraid it was too much cave and not enough character in the image. And that's that's kind of my thought here. So let's put everything in order. So we have H and we have the introduction of the goblins and this scene, which are, are you know, I, I could probably even make them bigger. And then we have our character going off into the cave. Then we have this really nice tight shot from the character's point of view of the goblins coming up behind him. Then we have him disappearing and their absolute looks of holy crap on their face. That was not what they expected. Then we come to the work of today. Now, like I said, this was the original concept here. But I like this too. And so K could be very simply a hand right here and a torch right there and the goblins <laughs> over the edge there. And then the next image could be something similar to this of him flailing with a sword. And they're already running away. So all we see is like maybe their feet and stuff just, just scurrying away. And that piece could be a little lower. Oops, that's the text. And that piece could be more like this. Because we don't need to see that much. And just see them running away. Uh, do you like that idea better? So that in K... We're focused on the cave and the fact that he fell into a hole, which is what I need to sell, is he fell. And then 
we can cut back to more traditional for J. And this is him just flailing the sword. So you like that idea. Okay, that's the plan. Makes my life a little bit easier. Plus, I like the idea just a little bit. It's not breaking the fourth wall, but one of the goblins is going to be pointing straight at the camera. Go, woo, woo. And the others are like, oh, God, in the next frame. Okay. Hey, look, I have two pages done already, and I already know what the page... L to the long sword. I know what M is going to be. M is going to be from the perspective of our character. Coming up, our camera is probably going to be like right here, so we'll see it's like a hand or two, and we'll see why the goblins ran away. You like that idea? Once I had that kind of worked out in my head, I think the next progression of letters will come relatively quickly because we know what T is. I've already drawn T. So, yeah, I think, I think we're good here. All right. See, this is what Workhorse Thursday is about. Sit down. It's not always pretty. It's not about art. Sometimes it's just a matter of figuring out a progression of events and figuring out the camera angles you want to do on these different events. And, uh, yeah. All right. So, K will be for Navish, a goblin's ghastly keen trait. So they're going to be sitting over here going, <laughs> picking on our hero, which means the red's the foreground and green's the background where he came from, which will be this, this darkness here. Uh, so, 90% of this is going to be me working on key art. So, let's hide the text. Now, I literally just scribbled this out trying to get an idea of kind of what I want this to look like. And now we're going to refine it. So, now that we know what we're doing, we're going to be doing more environmental art. And I'm good with that because I like doing my environmentals. I can put in some gags, put in some mushrooms, little creatures running by. Uh, in fact, uh, I redid C just a little bit. I don't think I've shown this off yet because, you know, I'm always working on stuff. And what do you think about that? Of course, I need to rework his lighting and stuff, but you think that's okay? Let's put it back in the contacts. Just a little. I like these little guys. Those are called shinots. This is a a shinot. It's a cartooned alien from Aliens. It's my little homage to aliens. All right. Yeah, when you're zoomed in this far, man, the computer hates it. There's still work going on here. I need to, like I said, tweak his, his lighting. I'm going to do a blue, uh, blue, blue backlighting. But I need this piece open anyway because I need to remember how I was doing the caves and how I wanted stylistically to look. And this is pretty much what I am doing for today's live stream is cave work. And, oh boy, is there a lot to do. I've also got some other ideas of taking this in different directions. So, with that in mind, let's go back over here to K. And I already know some things I'm going to change. So, this will be our forefront. This will be our midground. We might put another midground piece in here. Um, so, what I need to do is I'm going to hide everything but this piece. And I'm going to kind of tear this piece apart right about, oops, hello, dink, is that the piece I want? Yeah, so now I'm going to kind of tear this piece apart right there, grab all of this, well, see, it's not all connected, I'm going to grab all of this, because this is just a real loosey-goosey scribble. Trying to figure out what I wanted to do. We're going to copy that, get rid of it. Oh, I missed a piece. I'm going to copy this, get rid of it. There we go. 
And I'm going to create, so there's that piece there. We're going to insert a layer, paste this into place, and then we're going to make it blue, just so we know. Keep everything in, in its place. And of course, we're going to go and name these layers. R cave. And lock. Where's that? Did I do that right? Hang on. Wait. Nope. Up. Up. My far cave. Mid cave. See, I got lost where I was at. So that's mid cave. And we're going to say far cave, which is the green. It's really hard to see, but this is far cave. And then near cave. And in front of near cave, I already know we're going to create a layer called goblins. And we're going to have on the nearest cave, insert a layer. Hero, which I still have to go back and figure out what we named him. All right, so everything's in place. We're going to save this for now. And this is roughly our scene. Let's take that far cave and give it a different color. That's really hard to see, so let's make it like a purple. So we can kind of see what's going on. All right. Now we can kind of get serious with what I want to do. I think I'm going to turn this into a brush or into a symbol, so we'll say, in your cave. And I'm going to break this into a couple of pieces. I've got this floor piece here, and I've got this wall piece. I want to break that in a couple of different pieces. So we're going to take this, we're going to say, near cave. And now it's, now it's a brush. And I'm going to open up that brush. And I'm going to break this apart a little bit, just like I did earlier. Right there's a good spot. And then I can take, let's take this. And let's grab all of this. This is just a rough scribble, so whether I get this correct or not doesn't matter. Control C, let's get rid of it. There we go. We're gonna call it this floor. And we're gonna call this right wall. Look at me, I'm naming my layers beforehand. And then we're going to paste into place that right wall giving it a slightly different color. All right. Better. <laughs> I am really starting to get excited about this project because it's starting to get some momentum. And just taking an older sketch that I was like, meh. And, and finding some new direction excites me, gives me what I call the jazz. So I'm not going to worry too much about this right-hand wall. I want to focus on the floor and come up with, I mean, this, this is okay. But let's take the floor and oh, delete it. I know, horrible. I'm going to get this out. Now we are using it at a one. We're going to use red. Then I'm going to move some stuff around here. So I'm going to move my buttons around, give myself some more drawing uh, room on my pad here. And let's think out loud. Okay, we know I'm going to have words over here. And we know we're going to have a hand here. So let's and I liked the idea. 
of the rock cutting back like that. So very crude line, but hopefully it'll give us, yeah, don't like that, nope. Let's do a little bit bigger line here. Let's do this at a, don't want to do a, I guess three would be okay on this side. So I'm going to use finer work on the other side. So let's do a three. Gives a little more oomph to our line. And we need uh, off to meetings. Okay, enjoy your day. I hope everything goes well. And I will talk to you a little bit later. Thanks very much for joining me. Love you. All right, so now we're going to... We're just making some floor art right now. All right. Let's grab this. We're going to smooth it a little bit. It's going to torque our lines, I'm sure. Yeah. Don't want to do it too much. And I already know that I don't want... I know I drew it. I don't want this. Not, not the way it is, anyway. So we're going to get rid of this and like I said I'm making this stuff up as we go we'll figure this out okay, I know there's a hole right there and I'm going to fill hopefully I know there's all kinds of holes in this don't care much about that yep that was our hole all right now we can do the uh, refinement a little bit Kind of get a feel. Yeah, it gets rid of some of the crunchy. I like some of the crunchy. All right. Yeah, I see. Gonna also have a bit of. Oops, that's not what I wanted. There we go. A bit of cave like that. This. Do some keep snake stuff. All right. That's on a decent path, but I don't think that's going to do what I want to do. I know I drew it, but I think I screwed up. Let's bring up the text. One hand, maybe right there. I have rocks here, might have some rocks here. Is that where I want my text? Okay, so I, J, technically K should be up here. So let's move that text up. And of course I need to make that text, whoa, not, not cool. Just the text, thank you. everything hidden? I do. Let's open everything up. Let's close. Do I need this? I know what that is. I do want that. I don't want that. I do not all. Okay, and of course we're hiding that. Okay, there we go. So that way I can see where the text needs to be a little bit better. And for the text, we need to do some stuff. We don't know what its outline colors is, but we are going to turn that into a brush. Just simply call K. And this 
gives me the ability to move it a little more coherently. So there we go. That works a bit better. And I'm wondering if I should bring this trying to get a feel for the piece. And I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling it. So don't be afraid to start over. We need a bit of give. I want it, oops. about what happens behind that rock. Just playing with concepts right now. I want to smooth it a little bit. Uh, yeah, that feels better. And then... Again, wrong button. Why do we even have that button? Yeah, I don't care about that one. Oh. Like something like that. I don't care. Alrighty, that, that's not the greatest, but I think it gives me something to work with. So let's go back over here to C. And I'm just going to grab a generic color from the floor. I know that's not the final color. But we're going to do that. Hmm, excuse me, I'm starting to get the hiccups here. Those are never fun. I'm going to grab a, a lighter color just for the moment. Just kind of help visualize what's going on here. So we've got some red. I need some lighter. Even more lighter than that. So more lighter, more lighter. Let's go over here for that, and we'll investigate the color issues here. We're just making this up as we go. I mean, I have no idea what I'm doing. Clearly, okay. These are those little dots. So, dink, dink. Think. They're crunchy. Think. Don't want to go too much. But they're crunchy. All right. All right. 
take this wall. Let's figure this wall out for now. It's got some stuff I like and stuff I don't. I'm going to cap it off. lighter color of some kind. Well, let's first let's let's make this. Let's use this color here. Make that a lighter color, and then we're gonna fill it with even more lighter than that, just so we can wrap our eyes around what the heck I did here. Some crunchy, crunchy line work. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's tweak it a little bit. See what we get out of it. All right. It's not horrible. Let's go back over to here. Let's lock the plane. And let's just kind of live with that for a second. Hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone is enjoying themselves. Uh, this is Workhorse Thursday. This is me doing stuff. I think we're going to go more with the greens because uh, I have greens and blues and then lighter blues. And I like these greens here for the four rocks. So we're going to continue this. I'm going to steal some colors. I know I've got, oh, that's a shadow plane. Don't need that. We just doink. We need this. So here's the original colors. We're gonna go We're gonna unlock everything. There we go. And we're gonna go, hey, what color is this base thing? Because I've got so many layers going on here that make up this piece. And we will go into more detail about this, but for now, just to keep my colors consistent, and I'm going to have to work on my line weights so I can tell already. Okay. Near cave. Okay. Drop. No. Yes, no. Maybe. And then the cave itself. No, 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 no. Makes that really dark, doesn't it? Um, well, we're still playing with stuff. Now we're gonna get this color right here. And that's what goes in here, which makes this really uber dark. Which also would make let's yeah, let's do this. Let's do some. Not happy with this, but for the shadowing though, this will work kind of nicely. That just does not, oops, I do not like this. I may end up redrawing all of this. I'm just using this to get a feel for what's going on. So far, I'm not overly happy, I can tell you right now. Now I've got some of the more correct colors going on. But having this side being darker and the background being lighter, I think it's going to work for me because the torch is over here. He's falling forward. He's grabbing on. Just kind of looking at it and living with it right now. And I think I'm going to end up redrawing this whole piece again. I mean the whole piece. Some ideas here I'm liking, but we're going to we're just deleting everything. It's gone. Let's start fresh. 
I am going to go ahead and borrow some colors. Do like this and how it came out. So this will be our color. We're also going to change our pen. I'm going to try a different brush. All right. So this is the floor. It doesn't matter. We're going to trying to get a feel so this whole thing in red again so I can see everything let's see how this is going to work out I, I'm not happy with that at all all right so that's going to be me fussing with lines it looks like okay we know what to hand in here so that's that Anything else It's just going to add to, uh, I don't like that roundness. Of course, this won't matter because this will be behind that rock piece. Closer. You know, we like this line. I like this line. This will be the hand line. Just trying to figure out. Liking that idea a little bit, but I'm going to do that. Let's do this. here in a second. This gives me some more pieces like this. This one's not that important, it's just going to be on a rock.
years of drawing dungeon notes. Start working out things like this. Okay, I like this better. And we've got a piece that's going to be sitting here. So let's get the floor. Some kind of nick. And let's get that color from C. Let's grab that dark color here. And then we're going to take this floor piece and we're going to make it that color. Then, stop it. We're going to go over here. We're going to grab the lighter color. For now, we're going to continue to do these lines and all these highlights. I'm just trying to get the geometry of the piece. And I've got holes somewhere. I'm not going to hunt them down. Let's do this. Pink. There we go. Pink. That must be a bigger hole there somewhere. Let's, why is that? That's not the right color. That, that's not right. Um, escape. Back over to here. I said grabbing. Yeah, the lighter color. For some reason, it just didn't pick it up. All right. Oh, okay. So there's a thing when you're flipping between pages like that. If you grab a color from a page and you come over to another page, but you have something selected, for whatever reason, it just goes, that's the color you want. Even though I'm clearly over here going, no, no, I want this lighter color. If that line work was a uh, Select it and be like, no, you wanted that color, which clearly I do not. How big of a hole is that? That is quite the hole. Whatever's over here. So, now we have two colors. Like, yeah, there's the hole right there. I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to really fill that in. And then this one. There we go. It's not happy because I'm telling it not to fill gaps of a certain size. Now we can do that. Oops. All right. This part I hate about digital art is when the computer fights with you. It's like you know what you wanted to do, but you're trying to convince it. And, you know, this is sloppy, 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 but it's cave. So we'll, we'll fix it here in a second. Just trying to get it all. The way I want it. All right. Closer. See what happens if I do the magic of tweak. Okay, that tour. And then let's find an even lighter color. We'll use this color for now. For these inset pieces. All right. That's better. That's a much better piece. All right. So we have that. We are going to borrow. This dark color, and we're going to do this right wall here. And it's going to so go on probably his hand right here. And I'm just going to make this crap up as I go. No, 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 I want this layer. Thank you very much.
clockwise. The right wall behind the floor. That is a darker color, right? Well, maybe not. Maybe that's what's going on. Is it's not a darker color. It's the lighter color. Let's try that. There we go. Good grief. Again, fighting me. Tooth and nails. Not even the right tool. Let's try that. All right, getting better, getting better, getting better. Who knew, right? these random lines. I'm a little concerned about this not reading the way I want. We're going to make this. I need to fill the rest in. So let's make this layer red for a second. Just so I can see what I'm doing. It's more like a tree right now. And let's just use a normal brush tool because it doesn't really matter. Whoops.
How's everyone doing out there? <clears throat> Drawing me um, draw rocks. <clears throat> There's a lot going on here with this piece, so I need to make sure it works. And right now, I think I've got my colors flipped. I think the floor needs to be lighter and the walls need to be darker, but we're just trying to get something I like the look of, first of all, and then we'll worry about what color things should be. And then on the hero, let's go to the hero. Let's use a bright green. Right where the hero is supposed to be. I think I just put a hand right there. And we're going to have on the goblins page. needs to be locked. Why is it even not locked? Uh, hero, goblins. I don't want that going on. Looking down in the hole, our hero. Meanwhile, this guy is going to know there's something going on behind the camera. So, um, Hero's easy enough to do. Let's, for now, now he was holding his sword in his left hand. I don't know how many of you figured it out that our hero's a lefty. Drop the torch, and so it's his right hand. In. Slight turn.
right? So we need him over here. That's why I didn't draw the thumb completely. To conform to the rock, because I wasn't quite sure where he was going to be on said rock. That is a start. It's not the best start, but it is a start. like and then we can get our hero on his spot okay colors are all wrong Working on kind of the layout here more than anything else. And I believe starting to get to where I want to be. Starting, starting, starting. Not completely where I want to be, but we're getting there. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to invert these colors a little bit. This guy, and we're going to grab this really dark color. We're going to put it on all of these things, even after I just got done fighting with it. And apparently, I'm still going to be fighting with it. I don't mind if there's a few lighter colors in there. We'll, we'll hunt them down in a little bit. I think. Oops. That's what we're going to do. And then we're going to take No, we don't want to do that just yet. Let's, let's take this color here and make it the floor. Now we can do that other thing. There we go. And then we'll take that highlight color. Oops. Use 
this right now, just so we can have little differences in the color. And let's see how I feel about flipping my colors. And I'm just kind of living with it today. I hope everyone's enjoying themselves. We are an hour in, and this is all we've got done. Art is never fast. I mean, there are some very efficient artists out there. Uh, my absolute favorite is a gentleman by the name of Sergio Aragoni. He's the world's fastest cartoonist. He, uh, he used to draw the little margin art for Mad Magazine. He does Crew the Warrior. And very successful, very amazing, prolific artist. And I'm going to be fighting with this design and these colors for a while until I get what I want. But now I have an idea of my layout and where I want to go with my layout. I think I might be redoing this piece all together. This rock here, part of this. Yeah, this is the fun part of art. Are you having fun yet? <laughs> Whee! Watch me sit here and go, mm, what to draw next? Am I happy with that? No. Yeah. But I definitely have a better idea of the layout. And this is just me sketching and scribbling and kind of going, I kind of want this to happen here and this to happen. Kind of like writing. You're just like, I want this to happen at this point and this to happen at that point. And it never quite goes the way you want it. This guy over here, but it kind of changes the order. Actually, he was in the back. Let's try that. Let's play around with the order of the goblins. Oops. Not what I had in mind. Let's try that again. Stop it. Everything's locked, but the goblins work with me. There we go. We put him here. All right. <clears throat> Let's get some goblin heads going on here just to give me an idea of what I want to do. So, goblin head one. Taunting our hero. More like that. And then goblin two. Which is my bean goblin. Call him that because I base his head on more of a bean shape. Right now he's just gonna be a big circle. This guy, way back there going, oh, 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 
not not a good idea, guys. Not no bad 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 idea. Bad idea. Bad bad bad. Why would he be saying that? Maybe it's of the dragon of epic tales to speak. He's gonna be looking straight on at us. Right, these guys are gonna be focused. Our hero. Just gonna get some eye lines going on here. this back. So let's make him further. He's probably the closest. Make him a little bit bigger. He's going to be about the same. And then you know the hero's the closest. So I think we can afford to say he has the biggest hand in this. Da -da -da. Again, I may end up redrawing all of this. I'm not happy with it. He put his hand here. Yeah, that makes a little more sense. So we'll fill that in a little bit. Put his hand there. Make it a little bit bigger. Because he's the closest thing to us. They're a little bit further back. So let's take the goblin. So we are going back to the near cave. Doink. First, we're going to save this. I like kind of where we're at. If I were to lose everything, it's not a lot, but it helps. Okay, we're going to go to the near cave. Hello. There we are. Take this color. Square sizes are just so touchy. There we go. hole there somewhere clearly. Want to take this thing apart basically. So with this piece, just do that. That. And I should be able to just grab the outline. 
coffee. Delete. I'll fix it here in a second. We're going to come up to the right wall. Paste that in place. the floor. Grab this color here. It's going to say nope. We're going to say it's okay. You know you're a bit chunky. Oh, wrong colors. Hang on. First things first. Let's grab all of this and say, hey, you really want to be this really special color here. Then we will grab this doesn't need to be quite as chunky. And we do that. There we go. And that makes that part of that. Now let's hide that and let's fix this. We're going to do that by grabbing this color. Make sure I got that color. Why is it acting weird? All right. Don't really care. We're just doing our thing. And guess what? It is going to behave itself a little bit. No, no, no. Turn that off. There we go. And then this can just go away. And we'll bring it back this way. Give me some foreground and background elements to work with. Alrighty. Hey, it's almost like it's a thing now. Alright. So that's where we are. We go from this to this to this. Maybe these guys can be bigger. Then the next page from there will be this. But he'll be turned around a little bit. And I'll switch hands because he's backwards. That's okay. We can work with that. We're going to have this, except this guy's going to be. In this scene, though, instead of them doing this, they're just going to be book and butt out of there. So I, I've got a progression that I'm happy with. Just got to kind of work the rest out. All righty. All righty. Let's go back over here to see. And I just want to see what I was doing for line work. And I want to continue to echo that, except I think I'm going to redraw this piece right here. If you haven't drawn it at least three times, you're doing something wrong. So we want your cave. Now that we have some colors laying around and an idea of layout, I think I can relax, tear this piece apart here. Use my color palette from this piece here and see what I can come up with because I'm not overly happy with this, but we're going to have some fun anyway. I'll turn this into a two. Now I kind of want.
these two lines are annoying me because they're using a color I don't really want them to be using. So we'll just make them red so I can see a little bit better what's going on. treatment here. I think one is enough. See, that's, that's not right. This color's a little too close, I think. There we go. There's the opening there. Now it works a lot better. See what we started with and what we ended up with? Two different things. And even from here, this is probably going to evolve and change in ways. And then, hello, hello, friend. Lurking for a while. I'm at work. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm sorry I didn't see that earlier. I'm so sorry, Vengeance. I hope you are having an amazing day yourself. I do apologize. Uh, for not noticing this, I've been kind of focused on the artwork. Thank you very much for coming and hanging out. I'm glad you're uh, lurking. Better to lurk than to have complete void and silence, right? Thank you very much for stopping in. Um, what do you, if you think about this process so far? I know you're working, but, uh, you know, when you get a chance. Uh, we are trying to figure out the layout of the next page for the ABCs of Adventure. And a lot of back and forth, as you can see, a lot of back and forth, a lot of back and forth. It's like this little rock thing here I like, but then I don't. And I think I want to do something with it, but I also have another piece back here. So let's stop working with this. Let's go to this mid-cave piece. <clears throat> Let me see what I want, if I even need it anymore. I do kind of want to do something like that with it. All right, let's make it an obnoxious color when I can see. And let's see what we can do with this. I am going to. Do 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 do. Pink. Is that right? I went pink. Pink. Hello, pink. 
That is not the, uh... oh, there it is. All right, where's the options? Oh, there's the options. They were just down a little bit. All right, I kind of like this. Let's hide the near cave a little bit so I can figure out more what this is about. I think the overall lines I like. So we're going to keep those. I'm just going to freshen them up here a little bit. And rocks are a fun thing. Doesn't matter what you really do with them. Okay, keep the overall feel of this, and it doesn't matter if it's a little messy. They're rocks. Just take this whole thing Boink. and see what happens. Boink, boink. It's not too bad. A little, little repair work here. Oh yeah, it's not too bad at all. All right. Yeah. I'm kind of grooving on this. So I think we'll keep this piece here. Mm. Now we'll keep that sharp point. I like that. I think, let's go back to my reference piece here. Back out, let's get one of the lighter colors. I'm just gonna grab, oh, that color right there. Grab this and say, hey, you want to be that color? And it goes, okay. Which works for me because I don't want to have to wrestle with it. I'm just going to randomly grab one of the lighter colors I see here because right now all colors are kind of arbitrary on this piece. Oh, yeah, we're going to have some fun with this. I can tell already. This is going to be a good little piece. I'm glad I kept it. I wasn't, but I'm really glad I did now. Don't want that. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Let's get in here a little tighter. Whoop. Do I like some of these sporadic lines here? These we can go ahead and do this with. This one. I do this with it. I like some of this kind of sketchiness that this has. This whole thing, and we're gonna play with it. Come on, yeah, let's keep that. Play with that for now. I think these could be filled in. Maybe that one. Let's fill this one in. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of dig this rock because it's very sketchy feeling. Well, let's go ahead and fill that in. Nope, nope. Let's give it a rock. We may never see it, but I know it's there. Just a little bit. Ooh, uh, just a little bit. Ooh, uh, a little bit more. Okay. Let's make it a little more solid. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. And that. Just because. And then we're going doink, to give it to business one more time. Doink, doink. And then see how it all lays in. Get rid of all this extraneous stuff, Boop. and we don't need that. And then this can be solid again, and 
we can lock it all down, get a general feel for how it's framing our piece. Let's go to the near cave. And let's take this piece and just stick it over here for now. Well, because we want everybody to move kind of together. So I overdraw these pieces a little bit so I can play around with placement. I do kind of want him centered up a little bit. We'll add some more detail, but see how this looks. Oh yeah, that's looking more like it. I do have to tweak this piece right here. That's okay. I'm good with that. This can be as messy as I want it to be. Let's see if this is connected up to anything. It is. Not anymore. Here. I know this is ooh. my outlines on this rock disappeared. All right. Well, I'm not undoing what I just did. We'll just give it some new outlines because we have the power. Actually, I'm just that stubborn. And I can always just redraw it if I don't like what's going on here. And I do like this. And, excuse me. Fine, be that way. Okay, where was I? So I did.
a little more interesting. It was an opportunity to do something different. Run with it and make it a little more interesting. All right. <clears throat> Colors are completely off, but I think we're having fun. Hmm. Well, let's go to the big camera here. <laughs> Remember to go back to the live action. I have a bad habit. We are an hour and a half in, and all we've done is draw a couple of wall cave things and a floor, kind of figured out the layout. And that's a lot. Um, considering I'm, I'm literally, I had an idea and I scrapped the idea completely in lieu of a different camera angle, but I'm trying to keep the narrative flowing visually in a direction. In this case, I am going from left to right, which is entrance, right to left is exit. I'm trying to keep that flow going. So flipping a camera, I have to be careful about my flow. Plus, I also have to make sure the narrative is there that this piece will support kind of the story. You know, I'm not really telling the story directly. K is for knavish, a goblin's gasless, ghastly keen trait. What does that even mean? And in this case, it's going to be goblins making fun and poking fun at the adventurer uh, with their big pointy sticks. And then the really keen trait is if you're paying attention is for knavish. It also is cowardly. And one of them's going to see something, and these guys are going to run away. They're going to be knavish. The hero is going to think it's because of his efforts with his long sword, but it's not. They were going to run long before he figured out what he was going to do. So they were going to rob him, punk him, leave him in a cave somewhere as decoration. Now something else has happened, and we have to find out what that something else is. We know it's a dragon, and the dragon will be making an appearance soon. I've got some ideas for how we're going to introduce our villain. And like I said, once I get past this goblin sequence, it's mostly about the dragon, or bits of the dragon. So. I'm hoping the next few letters will go fairly quickly, but if you like this content and you really want to see me continue to do this, um, please like, share, follow, notifications, you know the drill. I don't have to harp on that because you're a savvy internet user and you're watching me. I don't know why, but you are. And if you want to support me directly, more directly, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash chain reaction. Uh, the link will appear down here somewhere. Oh, over here, it's going to come out over here um, at some point. And yep, there it is. You can now support me directly. Hey, support me directly at. Uh, buymeacoffee.com. Every little bit helps fuel my art engine, which is powered by caffeine. I'm just taking a coffee break here because I need to figure out what I like, how I want to push elements around, so forth and so on. But I, I'm, I'm starting to like this. Definitely got some different colors going on here. Mmm. And to do my Twin Peaks homage, it's good coffee. Hot, too. All right. And if you don't know what Twin Peaks is, you're way too young. <laughs> Never thought I'd use that. But All right, back to the live action, which is over here. Let's make this big so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Not that there's much going on here. Okay. <clears throat> Colors will probably be tweaked, different things will be massaged around, but overall, yeah, 
this this wall here is going to get redone. I can tell by comparing it to this background piece, seeing this foreground piece. I'm like, no, it's this whole thing's going to get scrapped again. I'm keeping the floor, but the walls not as happy. So we have a little more of a layout. We know where the hero is. It's just going to be a hand. Actually, let's uh, let's work on the hero just a little bit here. Not a lot. Going to do that. Then I'm going to go ahead and stick a there, and then we can just throw in some gray scale for now. A little bit lighter than that. There we go. Throw him in there like that, so we have a better idea of what he's going to look like. At least at this point. I think mid-cave, which is this piece here. No, that's far cave, sorry. Mid-cave, which is this piece here. He's come down. Back just a little bit. Whoop! Wrong button. Here we go. Yeah, I really like the lines on mid cave. I do not like the lines over here on near cave. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. But let's see what tomfoolery I can come up with here. That's a little better. Yeah. Same on this piece. Let's just push it a little bit. And anything I don't like I can clean up. Alright. Boink. Alright. I'm a little happier with that. I'm still got some work. Let's do the same to the floor because it doesn't feel like it's part of the world anymore. Let's walk this, grab this. Hello. Work with me. All right. Weird. Fit. Yeah. I think this is going to work. Let's grab Far Cave. Let's bump it around a little bit. something like that just rework this line right here B get a purple neo purple will do at the moment Doing stiff. Yeah. General feel.
drawing some cave stuff. Second, I know it's like watching paint dry. There we go. Let's take the rest of this. Fractured wall look. Whatever that's going off to. Doesn't matter. It's all background pieces. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Scribbles. This is creating. Loving it. Dink. Some more. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like that. Let's do this a little bit more. All righty. All right. <clears throat> I mean, there's some work going on here, but I think we're on the right track. But it is definitely getting there. Let's go ahead and save our progress. Oh, it's not what I started off to draw. It really is not. I'm always, in, I wouldn't say impressed, I'm always surprised, I guess would be a better word. When I have an idea, you know, is this one white? No, this one's black. Do I need a white? This one. I need to get the text information for this one. This one has a um, couple of things added to it. It's going to be a glow white at 3 and 237. So we're going to do something similar here. I'm going to go grab the text. We're going to give it a glow of white it's going to be 3 and at 237 so that it'll pop off this darker background when I'm I'm there I'm just getting out of the way now I still don't know exactly 100% how I'm doing different things but this is where we are at Far cave. And I'm just going to draw some lines here. What makes this piece a little bit different, or the whole process of the caves a little bit different for me, is that I'm using the um, brush instead of vector lines. 
and that gives a, a little more of a, I wouldn't say a painterly feel, but a more drawn feel to this piece. And I like it, but it is scary. Myself some more. I like that. Do that with that. In case we need to manipulate this further down the road, I have a little more room. Just for funs and grins. to be a little bit different color, a little bit lighter of a color. And of course, I can't expect that because they're not separated. So let's separate these. I don't mind the sketchy feel to this. I'm kind of digging it actually. And then let's see if we can get a lighter color. So we're just color now, but we're going to lighten it up just a little bit. Maybe a lot. Can I get that in there? Yes, I can. Oop, cannot get that in there. Why? Where's the hole? There's the hole. I'm surprised by that. I thought that line there was. We'll do that. All right. That's kind of what I want. So let's bring everybody back. Get rid of the template. Let's get rid of this layer here. Let's lock this all down. And we're getting closer. Most of this is cave work, so that's why I'm kind of really being anal about it. The, the characters in the background are going to be important, but not as important as that hand in the foreground with maybe his sword. I don't know, because I want him to still be holding a sword, because the next thing he's just waving it, because he's not very good. This is giving me a better overall feel. I might put his torch on that far ledge back there. Or just right there, but it depends on what, how much space these goblins take up. But I think 
Once I get everything drawn in, lit, shaded, textured, I think this is how I want to frame this shot of the cave. Windows from H is for the dig. Let's, let's bring all this stuff in here so we can see them. Let's just get the progression here. All right, <clears throat> H is for the decaying cavern halls onto which our hero carelessly descends. I is for initiative, which sadly our hero is slow to make. J is for jinx, showing our hero's sorrowful cursed fate. K is for knavish, a goblin's ghastly keen trait. These first two down here are not showing that trait, but that one in the back, that one in the back, he's the true knavish one. And then L will be for longsword. And at this point, the goblins are like, Ooh, and are running away. But not from his sword. No, 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 dear readers. We're going to come back to this scene right here, but we're going to come back to it from the goblin's point of view as the hero pulls himself up and sees. And what will he see? Oh, what will he see? <laughs> And this is where the fun for me is going to be, is because I have to create a creature that I don't typically draw in this way. And I want to hint at it, show bits of it, but I don't want to show the whole of it because it's massive. And the next shot, this shot, the M, which is the shot, the monstrous. Um, I don't know if I want to show the whole, Head or I'm, I'm not 100% sure yet, but I do know how this ends. Goblins are smarter than our hero, I'll tell you that right now. But we are coming up to the top of two hours now. So we have been working on K for Navish, for the ABCs of Adventure, Hopefully, we'll start making some really good traction. We're coming up to the end of the year. I would really like to have a chunk of this finished. We're up to K. We're almost halfway there. If we get to M, which we should do here in the next few weeks, if we get to M, we're halfway. And most of these, the artwork should snowball from that point. I'm hoping, not a lot of the hoping. There are a few challenging pieces that I'm going to have to draw. But I'm real happy where I'm getting. I'm getting excited about this project again. I hope that you guys are excited to see it come through. Suggestions clearly are something that I see. Let me see what multi stream looks like here. Nope. And I love getting those suggestions and thoughts and feedback. And so don't be afraid to go, hey, shouldn't that be purple? Or hey, have you thought about tentacles? Or you know, whatever. And we can play with it and have some fun. I'm going to work on the caverns here. I'm not going to worry about the hand or the goblins just yet. Because the focus is these cavern pieces focusing in on what has happened and I, and I really like where this is going still got a lot of work a lot of work but I'm happy with it 
go to the big screen here. And we are a couple of minutes from the top of the second hour. I really want to thank every one of you. Uh, Vengeance, thank you for lurking and being, being a fan. Thank you for stopping in to say hello. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate all the feedback from everybody that I get. I appreciate all the comments, the likes, the follows, um, everything. It, it means a great deal. Even if you never you know, buy a coffee and just hang out, I'm happy to have you here. Um, I am not doing the streams for monetizations, clearly, but I will make what an artist makes when this book is finished. And I have to finish the project. So with your help, I'm able to get there. You guys are motivating me. Thank you. I love each and every one of you guys. And there are people around there, around you, that love you as well, if not more. And you are deserving of that love. And I really need you guys to understand that. This world is tough enough as it is, so why beat yourself up? Take a moment, allow yourself to be loved, hug somebody who you think needs it, and spread the love, because it's too much hate right now. We don't need that. We need the love. So, with that said, thank you guys very much for joining me for this Workhorse Thursday. I will return on Tuesday for What the Art, where I will draw something. I won't know until I hit the live button, generally. What am I drawing today? I have no idea. But uh, it will be fun. Maybe some dragons. Maybe some more space aliens. Maybe we'll do the rest of the band for the ultimate jammers and the forbidden planets. We'll draw the forbidden planets. Do that piece up. Finish it up. Who knows? I might draw something completely different. You'll have to tune in on Tuesday at 10 o'clock Arizona time to find out. Until then, thank you guys very much for joining me. You guys are amazing. You're the best fans ever. Thank you. And I will see you on Tuesday. Thank you guys.